don't stop to leave. You touch that out the top, it means you win a world title. Simple as that. You don't touch it, still win it, it's gonna be tough. Man. Go, touch it. Good man. Down your camp slow, controlled. Legs out. Rest camp has been the best preparation he's ever done. I know it's easy to say that, it's cliche, but it's been a long camp because uh, we thought he was going to have a fight scheduled in the, in the middle, but um, that, that didn't happen and the focus has very much been on the, on the, the title fight. Um, we haven't tweaked that much, but we've had a lot of time to play around and add a lot of new skills in. His cardio is absolutely phenomenal now. I mean, the, the title is a, is a tournament format, so that's two fights in one night, and potentially eight five-minute rounds of pro MMA. I mean, that's a massive ask for anyone, but I mean, he's turning in more than eight rounds in, 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 in training at the moment, bringing in fresh partners every minute and a half for him, and he's just doing the business. So it, it couldn't have been a better camp, so it's going to uh, all show on the night. Brett's first opponent is a fighter called David Hagstrom. Uh, David is, I think a lot of people don't realise how good he is uh, on the UK scene, but I really, really rate him. He's extremely dangerous, extremely technical. Um, he's from a fantastic team, um, and basically it's, it's, it's going to be a, a tough first fight. But, I mean, if you want to win the world title, you've got to have tough fights. It is definitely by far the toughest test. If I was fighting, one of them guys on a, on a normal night did still be a tough test, but uh, there's four of us and it's going to be a hard night for any of us, really. Brett's got David Hagstrom. The other side of the uh, bracket is uh, Martin McDonough, Mr. Pink, uh, from Tulare Combat. I mean, that's um, Richard Shaw, Shakey's gym. He's going to be well prepared. He's a tough kid. He's from an excellent, tough camp. He's going to be super fit and ready to go. He's fighting a guy called James Pennington, the power weasel. Monstrous, monstrous bantamweight. Proven record again from, from the all you don't get to world title level without being a strong fighter from a strong gym. So uh, whichever way it goes is going to be great. So Brett wins the first fight. He's got one of those guys in the final, um, and we've trained for everyone. You know, there's there's no one in there. We're not ready to fight. So whatever happens, happens. It's a big deal. You know, it's a lot of recognition for the club. I'll be the first world champion that comes from Wales. Um, you know, but not only that, it's, it's, it's more for me as well, you know, I've always wanted to be a world champion. We've taken a step by step so far. And to be honest, I didn't, I didn't expect to get an opportunity, I guess, until another four years. So, um, you know, I just, I just really want that belt and uh, I'd love to bring it back to Swansea. I want to thank, firstly, you know, Tanabi, they've done a lot of work with me. Um, I want to thank Specialised Nutrition with uh, Thomas and Biffy, who've done a lot for me as well. Um, AP Drainage, um, Al Price, um, th thanks to him as well. Uh, Impact LPA, you know, they've got a bit of trouble with cage wars at the minute, but they're still trying to do work with me. Um, Chris Reese Academy, the Dragon School of Combat, um, all my coaches, thanks to Chris Reese as well. Um, you know, uh, I think? yeah, training partners and stuff as well, you know. Um, Dino Marley uh, from, from Chris Reese, and you got, um, you know, Kyle. Adam has done a lot of work with me as well, so I just got to thank everybody, thank my family, thank my dad as well, thank my mother, so they've been supportive really since, since it's been announced. <laughs>